Okay, so the Hands of Time season finale answered many questions and wrapped up many stories and side plots from the season itself, and I had a really good time watching the last episode. Like many other season finales, I was insanely hyped up to watch this episode, and I loved watching it in its entirety. But there was one moment in particular that just made me go, Holy sh that was the moment when time was altered during the fight with the Time Twins, and Zane turned back into his human form. This obviously surprised me, and I'm sure many others were shocked as well, but to me this was simply a missed opportunity, and let me explain why. First of all, props to the writers for keeping things consistent. It's pretty obvious that without modern technology, Zane would never have been able to rebuild himself in the titanium form, but again, in my opinion, it was just a waste. I think a story of Zane rediscovering his human form would be an awesome season, or just simply a side story in the next season. Maybe the ending of episode 74 could have kept newer technology non-existent, or maybe the Time Twins actually won the battle. We already know that season 8 will most likely be focusing on the Time Twins again, so what if episode 74 ended with the Time Twins actually winning and successfully changing the future, but everything else stayed the same? So everything like Sensei Wu lost in time, and the ninja having ownership of the reversal blade would still be part of the timeline. Season 8 would obviously still feature the ninja finding Sensei Wu if they're even going that route, but a neat little side quest would be Zane struggling with his new, or rather old life as a droid, but still in a humanoid form. I think it would be similar to the whole Cole turning into a ghost thing from season 5, though I don't know if they would go that route due to being redundant, but I still think it would be a cool idea. Anyway, this brief clip from Ninjago Season 7 was one of the most unique scenes of all time, and was definitely unexpected. When you think about it, it actually makes sense, but I feel if you show it, maybe you should have done something with it. Don't hover over the frame with ominous music if nothing will ever come from it. But besides that, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. It was a short one, but if you enjoyed, feel free to give it a thumbs up rating and click the subscribe button, guys, it really means a lot to me. Also, don't forget that the comment section is yours for any discussions you want to have, or if you just had a general comment, that's fine too. Also, don't forget to leave your video suggestions down below as well for a chance to have your idea featured as an actual video sometime later on. Thank you guys so very much for watching, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.